Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Welcome to Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib of MBS Highway. And this is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network. Hey, remember, you get a free trial to MBS Highway just by clicking the link. Why not do it? Well, we give you so much great information every single day. And if you've been watching these videos, you know that our forecasts have been really spot on, very accurate. We've been able to foretell a lot of the things that you're seeing happening here way ahead of the media and in many times very contrarian to the mistakes that the media has made because they have been just clueless on so much of this stuff. But we've been able to give you the insights. Why not have that information every single day to discuss with your clients, referral sources, be the expert, beat your competition. And if you don't have it, your competition who does have it is going to beat you. Don't let that happen, especially now. A lot of refinances headed your way. We'll talk about where rates are going in a little bit here, although Friday gave me some concern. I think we might be in for a little higher rates in the short term. It was an interesting week. We saw some news out of Europe. And remember, uh, the globe, all this news is interrelated. So when the European Union's justice system decided to okay their version of quantitative easing to buy more bonds, this OMT, Outright Monetary Transactions, that hurt their euro when it comes into the U.S. We've discussed these currency situations in the past. The euro currently at 115. You remember, we have been on these videos telling you when it was at 135, it was going to parity, meaning the dollar for the US dollar equals one euro instead of 1.35 in the past, equaling one euro. Now that's already dropped to 1.15. You believe it so quickly. But people in Europe seeing this, especially with the court paving the way, money from Europe should continue to flow into the US by way of buying treasuries, by way of buying mortgage bonds. The inflow of dollars, inflow of euros into dollars should continue to help with supporting higher prices and lower rates ahead. Certainly not in a straight line, but this will continue. And of course, we had seen retail sales come in last week. It was pretty abysmal and so funny to see the media scratching their heads. They're totally clueless and they're saying, well, you know, what happened to all the benefits of lower gas prices? They thought this was the holy grail. You know what? If you drive a thousand miles a month, it's going to save you 12 bucks a week. You're not going to go buy a new house for 12 bucks a week. You're not going to buy a car. The media always fails to see this like they do so often in missing the mark. And they're scratching their heads now. So funny to watch Steve Leisman of CNBC say, well, uh, I guess what they're doing with the gas money is they're driving further. Ha! Huh. So I guess people are taking the long way or the scenic route to work or home from work just because cost less for gasoline. I mean, this is the type of stuff that uh, people are scratching their heads about. Obviously, we've been way ahead of this. And we know that there's a negative side to lower oil prices. Remember when we said $40 a barrel, uh, when, when prices were at 55, we're already down to $44 a barrel. So uh, it, it's getting there. And if it stays there for a prolonged period of time, it will continue to push interest rates lower. Next week, we're going to get some news. This week ahead, rather, I should say, we're going to get some news on housing starting today. And I think that what you'll be seeing is some continued modest growth in housing. That's what we're going to continue to see throughout the year. But what's really going to be hot is refinances because at these interest rates right now, it's already terrific. And as we've said before, I think rates go lower. Although Friday, I think, set the stage for an interim move higher in yields, about an eighth to a quarter percent higher in yields over the short term. That's why if you were a subscriber, you would have known before pricing got worse on Friday that we were locking everything and grabbing the absolute best pricing available, riding this wave of lower rates and higher prices all the way from the bottom to exactly on the top, locked it in. And now I think we're looking for a continued move higher in rates for a short period of time, probably this week, maybe into next week. Stocks should improve during this time frame. But then I think once yields on the 10-year Treasury hit about 2%, 2.02% is really our target. We should see a crusting there and yields start to resume their downtrend. And I think they'll take out the lows that we made this week at around 170 on the 10 year treasury. We will go lower than that. I'm seeing them reach about 162 on the 10 year within this wave before maybe correcting and then even another leg lower. I don't think they're done for quite some time, much lower rates ahead. All right, have a great day. Sign up for a free trial. Don't make the mistake. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Master the Markets airs every Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time and can be viewed on MortgageNewsNetwork.com.
There are many information tools for mortgage originators, but MBS Highway is a communication tool. We empower you to relay information every day to your clients and referral partners. MBS Highway will provide you with specific real estate data for your marketplace, as well as daily sales coaching on the markets, and most importantly, how to translate that information into more transactions. Barry Habib's MBS Highway will give you an enormous edge over your competition. You will more easily win the trust and respect of your clients, and you'll become the go-to resource in your area for market intelligence. And yes, we will protect you from adverse repricing. For an exclusive Mortgage News Network offer, and to receive information like this every day, go to www.mbshighway.com slash MNN. This is Mortgage News Network.